Welcome to Breaking News. My name is Manny. And my name's Chastity. And we are so excited to be here with you for our brand new series called Breaking News, where we look at breaking news from the Old Testament of the Bible, from the prophets, and how Jesus was our final prophet. I'm really excited about it, Manny. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. Should we tell them about new people? Definitely. If you're new, we have been praying for you and your family. We're so excited you're with us, whether you're online or in person. If you are new, please text the word new to the number that appears on the screen. We'd like to send you something. Manny, you wanna tell them about it? Yes, we send out weekly mailers to all of our friends. And you wanna be on that list because we send out fun color sheets, surprises. I don't wanna give it all away, but you wanna be on that list, trust me. Definitely wanna be on that list. Well. We hope you'll join us every week for our series, Breaking News. Until then, signing off. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Crossing Breaking News. I'm your anchor, Mr. Eddie, and this is my co-anchor right here, Dino the Dinosaur. Hey, Dino, say hi to the boys and girls. <coughs> Sorry, boys and girls, Dino only speaks dinosaur, and I'm pretty sure that was a hello to you guys. Well, let's get right to our top story today, and it is about a man named Sephapaya. <coughs> what, Dino, that's not right? <coughs> our top story today is about a man named Sephajawea. <coughs> That's not right either, Dino? Oh, I'm getting something from our producer. He's helping me out. Okay, I got it this time. Our top story today is about a man named Sephaniah. <coughs> High five, Dino. So Sephaniah was from the Old Testament and he was gonna bring a message from God because the people of the Israelites that were around the Israelites were not paying attention to God. They were doing things that God did not want them to do. So Zephaniah had a message for them. Oh, it looks like I'm getting our breaking news. Our breaking news today is when times are tough, I can count on God. Boys and girls, can you say that with me? When times are tough, I can count on God. Great job, kids crossing. <coughs> What's that, Dino? <coughs> You're right, it's time for us to pray. Boys and girls, let's bow our heads and close our eyes and let's talk to God. Dear God, you are such an awesome God. And I thank you so much for helping us understand who you are and why you sent your son, Jesus. And, and then you sent people to help us out, to teach us things. And may we learn those things today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Why are you so excited, Dino? Yes. It's time for our worship segment, which Dino really likes because he likes to sing and dance. So I'm going to turn it over to our worship leader. Let's head that way now.
Dino, wasn't that so fun? Back to our top story of the day involving Zephaniah. Now, Zephaniah was a prophet during the Old Testament. What's that, Dino? You don't know what a prophet is? A prophet is someone that gets a message from God and he's going to deliver it to the people of that time. But you gotta remember, boys and girls, Zephaniah was a prophet of old, before Jesus came. Jesus is our final prophet. That reminds me about Jesus being our final prophet. And we're gonna turn to our Bibles in Hebrews chapter one, verse one and two, and let's read what it says. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets at many times and in various ways. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, whom he appointed heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. That's a great reminder that Jesus is our final prophet. So back to our top story about Zephaniah. So why did God need to send Zephaniah a message? You see, boys and girls, the Israelites were starting to worship idols. What's that, Dino? You don't know what an idol is either? Boys and girls, an idol is anything that we make more important than God. And during that time, they were making things out of stone and wood, and they were worshiping them making them more important than God. You say, Mr. Eddie, what's an idol these days? Well, these days, an idol could be anything like a video game that you make more important than God. Or maybe that TV show that you continually watch instead of taking time to pray or to read your Bible. Or maybe it's that thing you're looking at right now, like your phone. But during... During adulthood, idols could be anything from hobbies or work or our own phone. Oh, I'm getting something here from our producer. We're going to have an exclusive interview with Zephaniah brought to us by our award-winning on-the-spot reporter, Miss Chastity. Miss Chastity, take it away. Hi there, this is Chatting with Chastity, and I have breaking news from the prophet Zephaniah. Zephaniah is really eager to talk to us today. Zephaniah, what do you have to say? Hello Chastity, thanks for having me. God has sent me to tell everyone this. Everyone get ready. The day of the Lord approaches. The day of the Lord? But isn't that every Sunday? I'm confused, can you explain? I'm talking about something in the future. My message back then when King Josiah was king in Judah was the same as it is today. God will judge all sin. I tried to warn the people to turn back to God. People were far from God. They had been selfish their whole lives and would soon learn what it's like to have to work for others. They had been given many chances to obey God, but I warned them in the final days when God comes, they will be all out of chances and their money won't be able to save them. It's very different. That sounds terrible, but God is so good. Is there any good news? Affirmative. The day of the Lord is not here yet, so guess what? We have time. And God loves his people. He gave us Jesus and his grace and mercy extends to all nations, to all who believe and trust in him. We don't have to worry about any of these awful things happening to us on the day of the Lord when we all have a relationship with Jesus. Well, Zephaniah, that's really good news, and I'm so glad you were here to share that with us today. I definitely don't want to miss out on that, and I know that our friends know what to do now to be prepared for the day of the Lord. Can't wait to see you guys all there. This is Chatting with Chastity, and we're signing off. What a great interview that was, huh, Dino? <coughs> we learned so much from Zephaniah and Chastity with that interview. Boys and girls, Zephaniah told the Israelites that they were getting ready to go through some tough times. Now, have any of y'all ever been through some tough times? Dino, you've been through some tough times, huh? Yes, I remember when you forgot to put the jelly on your peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but was that really a tough time? 
But I also remember too, when your grandpa got really sick and it was a really tough time for you and your family. I remember that time whenever you had to change schools when you moved and you didn't know anybody. That was a tough time too. <coughs> Boys and girls, we have all been through tough times and we're all gonna go through tough times. But you can remember this, God is a God of all comfort. God is a God of encouragement. Preach it, Mr. Dino, preach that. Yes, he's a God of peace. He's a God of our hope. But just like Zephaniah said in Zephaniah 3, 17, it says this, The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Boys and girls, that's saying that he is with us always and he will comfort us. So when times are tough, I can count on God. You know, do you hear that sound? Do you know what that means? Boys and girls, it's Bible verse time. Do you remember our Bible verse? And it comes from 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Do you remember how to get to that verse? At the very beginning of your Bible, you'll have something called the table of contents, and you can follow it along till you find 1 Corinthians. Then you turn to 1 Corinthians and you find the big number 16. That's your chapter. And then you can find the little number 13. And that's your memory verse. So let's read it together. Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. Do you know what being courageous is? Hey, Dino, do you know what being courageous is? There's a similar word that begins with B, and it's one of your favorite songs. And during that song, they'll stand like this. Do you remember that, Dino? That's right, it's brave. So being courageous is being brave. And that reminds us of my favorite segment, the object lesson, because sometimes I have to be brave and courageous, because sometimes it can be scary. So I'm going to take a short break, and I'll return with our object lesson. It's time for my favorite section, the object lesson. Dino, why are you shaking? <coughs> I know sometimes things don't turn out well. I know I've gotten you dirty before, and I know I've gotten me dirty before, but I practiced this one. I think I can do it this time. Our object lesson today is, have you ever heard the saying, when it rains, it pours? Well, I'm going to take this cup of water and pour it in this cup, and then I'm going to put it on my head and hopefully not get wet. Dino, I cannot cover your eyes. Here we go, boys and girls. Ta-da! What if I let the cardboard down? Oh, no! I did get wet. And you know my trick, too, because it's on my head. But boys and girls, things don't always turn out like we think they should. Sometimes the reason I did this object lesson is because we get scared or afraid during tough times. And right now, this is a tough time for Mr. Eddie. But I want you to know, boys and girls, we don't have to worry about where God is because just like in a story, the people of Israel were crying out, where are you, God? Why aren't you here in this situation? And we often cry out too, where are you, God? But that's not the right question. The question we need to be asking is, where are we? Where were they? Because everything and everyone is in the presence of God. God is always right there with us, willing to help us. And when we put our hope and trust in Jesus, He's going to send down the Helper. They call Him the Holy Spirit. What's that, Dino? What does it mean to put your hope and trust in Jesus? 
boys and girls, to put your hope and trust in Jesus, you admit that you sin. You admit that you do things wrong. Yes, Dino, we do things that are wrong. But Jesus died on the cross and paid for our sins. He took away our sins. Why did he do that? Jesus did that because he loves each and every one of us. And he wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us. And then we are going to commit our way. We're going to do our very best to obey you, God. And you ask, how do I do that, Mr. Eddie? It's a simple prayer, and we can do that right now. So I need everyone to close their eyes and bow their heads right now. Dear Jesus, and I know there's some hearts in here right now that want to put their hope and trust in you. And we're going to, we're going to pray that prayer right now. Dear Jesus, I admit that I sin, and I admit that I do things wrong, but I truly believe that you died on the cross and took care of my sins, that you forgave me. But I'm going to do my very best to commit my way to your way and do my very best to obey you. And in Jesus' name I pray. But boys and girls, keep your eyes closed and your head bowed. And raise your hand right now if this is the very first time that you've ever prayed this prayer. Thank you. Everybody can raise their head and open their eyes because there's a celebration going on right now in heaven. And they're shouting hallelujah for all the boys and girls that decided to follow Jesus today, to put their hope and trust in Jesus. What's that, Dino? Yes, it's a great time to have another worship song so we can all celebrate. So I'm going to turn it over to our worship leader now. Take it away, worship leader. Sometimes And you forgive me 